Before we hit the ground running, I'd like to take care of a few things to speed up the process. One of them is to narrow down my brush selection. For each illustration or a set of illustration that I'm working on, I usually just narrow down to four to six brushes to keep the style consistent, but it takes too long to switch between brushes as I'm drawing. So what I find it really helpful is to bring all your brushes and turn them into a quick menu. When they are all set up, you can switch between them in split of a second like this. It's super convenient when you are drawing because you don't have to slow down to try to remember which brush you have selected. Anyways, let's go. Let me grab a juicy watercolor brush here for the demo. So go ahead and draw a simple spiral like this. As you draw, vary the pressure applied to the brush. In this way, it's easier to see how your brush reacts to pressure, which is a very important factor. And then lay down a horizontal stroke right on top. This combination of shapes may seem simple. In fact, it contains a lot of information. We can already tell the pressure sensitivity from the changes in the stroke width. In addition, we can also tell how the transparency changes when a stroke overlaps itself from these intersection points. This horizontal stroke tells us how two different strokes overlap each other. Also, as we draw the spiral shape, our hands can also get a feel of how the brush reacts to different tilting angles as well as the edge texture altogether. These pieces of information are helpful to consider before you start illustrating. So go ahead and play around and try out different brushes to see which one you like. This process is what I like to call a brush audition. And these are the four brushes that I've selected for just this project. And now let's figure out how to add them into one quick menu to speed up our process. There are different ways of invoking quick menu. I've set it as one finger tap. If you want to do that, you can come over to the wrench icon, which is actions, preferences, and gesture controls, and quick menu. And then toggle on the touch option over here. Tap anywhere on canvas to activate. Tap the middle button, and then plus icon to add your own menu. Tap it twice if you would like to rename it. You can rename it to the project. I'm just gonna say brushes here. And then tap anywhere else on the screen to set up each individual options. Tap on any button in the radio menu. You will see the set actions options. It has all the commonly used actions. It's alphabetical for our purpose. I'm gonna find the select brush. You can go into different brush folders to dedicate that particular button for one brush. The list mirrors the exact folder structure you have for your brush library. So I'm just gonna go into different folders until all my positions are filled. I know I've covered this process super fast. Feel free to go back and watch it a few times if you want. Now I'm done setting up my quick menu. I'm gonna show you how to use it real quick. When you want to switch to a different brush, just flick one finger to one direction and you will have a different brush selected. The setting up process may seem tedious for some, but I think overall it really saves you time down the road.